A week ago saw one of the most chaotic days in TF2's history, an event being commonly referred to as the Crate Depression. If you're unaware of what happened, I suggest you check out a previous video of mine where I recap the events of July the 25th. Today, however, we're talking about the solution, as Valve have finally reported back what they intend to do with the unusuals that were uncrated. The last communication from Valve was on July the 26th, where they said there would be an update after the weekend. Come Monday, however, there was no response, and people waited for an official announcement. A post on Reddit claiming to have an answer from Steam support was called out to be photoshopped by Jill from Valve, who said just over 24 hours ago there was still no official decision yet. Finally, late on August the 2nd, the blog was updated and Valve confirmed their plans. In their statement, they apologise for the incident and say they have added safeguards to prevent an event like this from happening again in the future. With regards to what happens to the unusuals that were uncrated, there are essentially four major points. To start with, the first unusual that was added to your account during this period will be made tradable. This means the first unusual you uncrated or bought from the Steam community market. Secondly, any further hats acquired after the first will be trade locked to your account. This means you won't be able to trade these hats or list them on the Steam community market. Valve also says if you don't want these trade locked hats on your account, you can claim a refund for them. This refund is the full price that was paid for the hat, crates or keys either from the Steam community market or the Manco store. They also stated that any unusuals deleted during this period will be restored. So if you uncreated unusuals and deleted them afterwards for whatever reason, they will be returned to your account under the same conditions as the rest. This seems to be a well thought out plan from Valve. In my previous video I gave a number of suggestions as to how they could proceed following this glitch, and this is a combination of the refund and untradable themed ideas. It appeases the most people possible, however there is still going to be a large number of people disappointed with the result, in particular traders of lower tier unusuals. Valve even said in their statement that the number of unusuals they will be making tradable, as in the first ones that are obtained on your account, are the equivalent of one whole month of the regular unusual drop rate. And it goes without saying, while the rest of the unusuals unboxed are not tradable, they still exist. And this has ramifications to the economy as a whole. I'll be making a future video where we go further in depth to the effects this decision will have on the TF2 economy. For now though, what are all of your thoughts? Is this a good decision from Valve? Do you agree with their course of action? Did they take too long announcing it or were you happy with waiting a week? Let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear your side of things. Thanks for watching everyone, take care and I'll see you next time.